Good morning everyone and welcome to Vlogmas Day 5! I am having a super relaxed morning while I'm trying to try not to think of all the things that I have to do because I don't want to tire myself out. I know it's only, well, for me this is the fourth day of vlogging and daily uploads but last night was a bit of a late one. You would have seen it was like quarter to one I think, the last clip that I filmed. But actually, it was about three o'clock by the time I got to bed. Sorry, there's a cat at my leg. So it was about three o'clock by the time I got to my bed and just waiting for it, the video to export and upload to YouTube and stuff. Oh, I'm not going to complain. I'm not going to complain, but I just wanted, this is the reason I'm having a super lazy and relaxed morning. Oh my God. Ignore the tills on the door in the background. This is constant in my house. I always put tills on my door. I don't know why. I just started it and I can't get myself out of the habit. So I've been up since about quarter to eight. That's when I woke up. That's quite late for me actually because I'm usually up by about seven on non-work days. Between seven and half seven. And I just kind of chilled out in bed. <laughs> I don't know if you heard that. The cat, I've just gave them some fish skin, some more fish skin. And one of them's growling at the other one because they're taking the fish skin, they're fighting over fish skin. Um, yeah, so 20 to 10 now, just got out of bed. I've been watching some bits in bed and I've just made myself some breakfast. To be honest, I really only got out of my bed because I was hungry and I needed a coffee. So I made myself, oh my god, this is such a yummy breakfast. I love scrambled eggs. I think I've spoke about that a few times. I love my scrambled eggs for like a brunch or a lunch, breakfast. I'll even have scrambled eggs for dinner. Sometimes supper, but I've been cutting suppers out. So I had the smoked haddock fillet last night and that comes in a packet too. And usually I would separate them and have one for dinner and another one for dinner. But what I decided to do was take both of them out and cook them both, sorry I've got something in my eye, cook them both and then I had some, one of them for dinner last night and I'm having one mixed in with my scrambled egg today. I mean it doesn't look as appetising as it sounds but it smells really nice, I love smoked haddock, I love smoked fish, I'm not a big fish person, I basically like tuna, battered fish and smoked haddock. That's practically my limits on fish. Mmm. Oh my god, so good. That was so yummy. I highly recommend it. Even if you're not doing Slum and World, I highly recommend smoked haddock and scrambled egg for breakfast. It's delicious. So I'm just opening my curtains. Some better lighting in here because I have yellow lights. Can anybody tell me where you get nice whiter lights? Because these ones are terrible. Let's see. It's alright. It's better than the horrible orange glare. Now I'm going to open my advent calendar. Where shall I put you? Just put you. Oh no. Let's do it this way. <laughs> oh, there's plenty of boxes here you can go on top of. Number four, let's see what I've got. Ooh, a little tub of something. What's this? I think this is a, is this a day cream? Yes! Face, body and hands. I suppose I better get some stuff done. I've got to clear all the boxes out of here. And I want to get some Christmas wrapping done today. I have done a lot more of the decorations. Let me show you that actually. So, you've seen plenty of the tree yesterday. Put this banner up. Merry Christmas. I got that from Amazon last year, I think it was. Got these, these Santas have been with me since my first Christmas in this house. Santa and snowman, sorry. Got them from Poundland the year that I was skin and I haven't got rid of them because I like them. 
this is one of the things that I picked up this year. It's not lying quite very flush with the wall. So I do. There's a couple of things that aren't lying as I like to lie them against the wall. So I'm going to pick up some blue tack or white tack and just stick them on the back. This, oh, move the mince pies, the doggy mince pies. This is my Christmas unit. Oh, oh, shaky hand, shaky hand. This is not really finished yet. I've got to get the runner and I love my snow globe, right? I got this snow globe from Debenhams three years ago. It's went all discoloured. It's went yellow, the water inside. And it's really pretty. You can't even see properly what's inside. Well, you can. It's stags. And this is a really, like, this is £25 for this snow globe. And I'm really annoyed that it's went discoloured. So if anybody knows how you fix this in snow globes, can you drain the water in snow globes? There must be a way to do it. You can't just live with yellow, a yellow snow globe. I think Mark, my stepdad, I think he he's quite good with things like that so I might ask him. This, can you see that? It's probably meant to go in your window but this is actually one of my mum's old decorations. She gave me it many years ago and again can't bear to part with it. It still works, it lights up, let me see. So retro, right? And this is my favourite. The Doctor Who tree ornament is my favourite tree ornament, but this is my favourite. Watch it. Look at him. My mum had that Santa when we were children, and when she moved in with Mark, she gave it to me, and... Uh, I can't believe he's still going. I mean, he's fallen to bits, really, old Santa. His head's literally hanging on by a thread. And look, this light in here's all coming up. But, again, can't bear to part with it because he means a lot. He's been in the family for many, many years. I've actually had him quite a few years myself. Oh. Oh. <laughs> um, last year, I did get a bit of a fright, like... I mean, as much as a fright, I was nearly in tears because I thought he was gone. He wouldn't switch on. But he was actually, he was still moving. He just wasn't lighting up. So I was telling my mum, I think old Santa's had it. And she was like, did you change the bulb? And I was like, eh, never even thought of that. So ordered bulbs from Amazon, put them in, and he works. He still works. I've not done my window yet because, oh, black because I need to get the suction hooks. There is something else that I need to show you actually. Where can I put you? God. You know what, let me just swap you over to the big stand. When I brought down all the Christmas decorations yesterday, I brought a couple of extra bags. You know, it had the like Christmas dinnerware stuff in it and it also had like our Christmas bed in. So I need to wash that, put that in the wash in a minute. And I, I thought I'd got rid of all my festive pajamas, but I found this pair, let me. Turn them the right way. I don't know why they were separated from all the other ones, but these are. What size are these? Oh god, I've washed them so much it's rubbed off. Let's see. 22 to 24. So <laughs> they were nice, I loved them. These were my festive pyjamas last year. I can't even show you, but they were. Really nice, I actually feel quite heartbroken that I can't wear them. And the, I like the design way, not that I can't wear the massive pyjamas. They were nice. And let it snow. Oh my god. Oh my god. That is ridiculous. When you see things like that, you realise how far you really have come. Anyway, I'm going to get this all tidied up and then... Make a start on some Christmas wrapping, which isn't actually as stressful as it sounds because what I do is I pop on Scrooge, which is my favourite Christmas movie. This is my this is one of my little traditions every year. Pop on Scrooge and I wrap presents. And I put Scrooge on because Ellie's not keen on it. Don't know where I got that child of mine sometimes.
Oh my god, guys, can you see this? Oh, it's too dark. Nala is in the flipping Christmas tree. She's chewing my Christmas tree. Oi, get out! Get out. Come on, come on. No, no, no. Come on, come on, come on. Ah, 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 ah. Careful. It is now officially time to watch Scrooged Bill Murray. I know you can get this. I think it's Netflix or Amazon Prime. One of them have this already on it, but I just love putting the DVD in and watching it. I am watching it on an Xbox also, so not quite so old fashioned and traditional. And now I'm about to start wrapping all of Ali's Christmas presents. Better get started. <laughs> ago and I've just been diddling about doing little bits and bobs little bits and bobs really yes I only have one pillow on my bed <laughs> on this side of my bed Ali always steals it so I need to buy him a new set of pillows because he's constantly stealing my pillow and it drives me insane I just got a little delivery from Amazon and this is my friend Suzanne she lives in Australia and this is her gift that I need to send like two weeks ago probably it takes so long sometimes it always never gets there in time but I think this year I'm pretty sure it'll get there because I'm going to send it I was going to go and send it today but I think I'll wait until Friday because it's miserable outside and I did get changed by the way I know I'm back in my PJs I did get changed and I went to the shop and everything and got iron brew and then when I came back in I just wanted to be comfortable so I put my jammies back on. These jammies will be changed tonight. Okay, I've had them on for the last three nights. It's not like I'm a dirty, dirty person. I shower every day. But tonight I'll have a bath and then I'll get into new ones. So I just want to show you what I got her because she doesn't watch these YouTube videos. I've got her this tea light holder. Wow, that is heavy. That's going to cost so much in postage. I got her this tea light holder, but it's a Himalayan salt one. I think it is so pretty, so beautiful. And I'm actually going to send her some wax melts that I have with that. And I've also got her a couple of books somewhere. I need to find them. I got her a couple of books in that because she's a reader. She's actually a teacher. And for her little boy, Lachlan, he is... He'll be two in April, so he's like 18 to 24 months. I got him this, which is a lovely cartoon car. It's got a little remote control and everything with it as well. This is like the only thing I got in the Black Friday sale. It was, well I bought, I paid £10 or something for it and it was on the Black Friday sale so I can't even remember what the original price was. 15 to £20 I'm guessing. But it ended at midnight on Monday when I purchased it, so uh, I literally purchased it at like quarter to twelve, just got there in time. I've also got him a couple of little kiddie books and a little outfit. They're in my Christmas cupboard, so I'm going to have to wrap all their stuff. Oh, I want to get them a tiny shortbread as well, you know, because she's in Australia and she's Scottish and she needs shortbread at Christmas. I would also send her iron brew as well, but... I don't think that would make it through customs. And I also realised last night that I never showed you these little cards. Well, I did. I showed you the envelopes that I got from Emma Jane and Caitlin. I never actually opened the cards and saw what was inside. I'm just expecting it's a little Christmas card. But I love that they, I love that they <laughs> dressed the envelopes, envelopes up and done little doodles. It's so sweet. Oh, I like that. That's not Christmassy. It's not a Christmassy card, but it's nice. I like the design. What does that remind me of? Oh. Emma Jean's in primary one. <laughs> and look what she's done. Caitlin's obviously helped her with the spellings. She's done a beautiful drawing. That's me and Emma Jean. 
Oh my god, I love them so much. I love all my nieces and nephews so much. So freaking much. Caitlin's is exactly the same. <laughs> oh, they must have a pack of these somewhere. That's nice. Oh my god. Oh, that is so lovely. Can you see that? To Tracy, Merry Christmas. You are really caring and I can't forget. Amazing. I love you lots. Lots of love, Caitlin. They should do a little bobble. Oh my god! I'm going to keep them in here in my bedroom. Oh. <laughs> They're so freaking cute. Hey, right, it's coming up for 24, so Ali's going to be home soon. And we will open his advent and then I better make a start on the dinner. So Ali's home from school now and he's absolutely dying to open his parcel for today, which actually has ripped has it? Uh, in the corner. What do you think it is? A blanket. <laughs> That's not what you said, what you thought it was clothes, but you've seen it. You're Scottish, of course you've got to use Scottish slang. Open it up, let's see how big it is. Fluffy. I know. You need a new fluffy one because Mark's kind of ruined our other fluffy one, hasn't he? Massive, well, no massive, proper, proper massive, but it is quite big. Do you think it'll do you for movie nights? Yep. Cozy? Aye, they'll be keeping the covers down. I know, Ali keeps bringing his actual duvet covers down when we have movie nights. Sitting next to my tree, feeling all freaking festive. I need to change the setting because I hate when it does this. I actually, I know it's multifunction, but I actually just prefer that. Well, I like this one, but. When you're watching movies or the TV or something, it can be like really distracting, like it's going to give you a seizure or something, so uh, I don't like that one. No, this is the one that's really distracting. This is like a freaking disco. Ah, I like this. I like it when it's just like this. Hmm. Oh no, that's the faded one. I don't like that one. It's that. We like that. <laughs> 